Eleanor here and it's time for a haul. I've bought quite a few books recently, I've been watching quite a few new YouTubers and I've been hearing quite a lot of books from them and yeah I've just been really enjoying picking up some books that I fancied reading and I've been reading quite a lot each month so I don't really mind bringing them on, my bookshelf is still looking manageable. Uh, so let's talk about the books that I've picked up. The first book I picked up is called Girls on the Verge by Sharon Biggs Waller. I heard about this book on a few channels now, all of whom have said um, what a great uh, read it is. It's really interesting, it's a book that um, the, the topic isn't something that I read about on a regular basis, I don't see many books necessarily coming out in the YA genre for this. It's about a girl, she's got pregnant, she wants to have an abortion, um, she's struggling, she doesn't know who she can turn to she can't turn to her parents and her family her best friend doesn't agree with the decision that she's made and so she turns to someone that she sort of barely knows in her theatre group to ask if she will come with her and drive her um, she's going somewhere quite a long way away thousands of miles away to, to make sure that no one finds out and I don't know whether it's because it's the only facility available um, but I'm sure I'll find out when I read it um, her best friend has a sort of sudden change of heart last minute and ends up coming along and I think this is following the sort of road trip that these three girls take and I'm sure the decisions are going to be questioned and there's going to be really interesting topics covered so I'm looking forward to uh, reading this one and seeing if I enjoy it uh, for myself. Heroin Complex by Sarah Coon is a book that I just think sounds like a perfect gobble up read. It follows our main character, she is the sort of put upon personal assistance to her childhood best friend who is now one of um, their sort of area's major um, superhero, super heroines and uh, she has to sort of deal with um, her epic diva tantrums and running this um, superhero's life as well as raising her younger sister. Um, and then everything sort of changes one night when she has to stand in for her uh, boss and sort of pretend to be her. It sort of re is revealed that she has superpowers too and then she has to sort of deal with the fallout from this. I think there's probably lots of fun, uh, lots of looks at what it's like to be in the limelight. Um, the sort of superhero slant sounds brilliant and also this idea of raising her sister um, and family which I think sounds like it's going to be um, a really extra add to the mix. So I'm really looking forward to this one and I got it in this sort of mass market paperback and I'm looking forward to giving it a go. In Meet Cute by Helen Hunting our main character Kaylin um, ends up sort of sprawled across this sort of famous actor that she's crushed on since she was sort of a teenager and they form a sort of friendship from this um, but then something happens and he betrays her in some way and they sort of fall out and they're not friends anymore um, but then he who is looking after funnily enough his younger sister so there's quite a few ties in here of of, um, older siblings having to be the carers for their younger siblings which is interesting um, and he doesn't really know how to bring up a 13 year old and so Kaylin um, you know takes pity steps in to help him um, and I think then they're going to move into some sort of more rom romantic relationship no doubt and I just think this sounds like a really cute read. I don't know an awful lot about this next book it's called The Boy Who Steals Houses and uh, sorry The Boy Who Steals Houses The Girl Who Ste Steals His Heart um, so the book is actually called The Boy Who Steals Houses. It's by C.G. Drew. uh, Drews and it says, boys like him don't get the girl, they go to jail. Betrayed and abused by everyone who should have taken care of them, Sam and his brother are lost souls. They have a wild, hopeless, precious dream to make a home for themselves. Then Sam meets a girl whose laugh is a burst of sawdust, but betrayed people have the hardest fists and Sam has a secret that's about to catch up with him. Um, so I think this is going to be re uh, a really emotional read. Next I picked up a classic that I've been really looking forward to reading and that is Evelina by Frances Burney. Frances Burney is a um, author that I really wanted to try for quite a long time. I've heard good things about this one um, and so I picked it up and I really like the look of the cover of this. It's a really beautiful Penglish, Penguin English Library edition. Um, it says that it's comic and sharp and incis uh, an incisive satire of excess and affection. Beautiful young Evelina falls victim to the rakish Frances 
glances of Sir Clement Willoughby on her entrance to the world of fashionable London. Colliding with the manners and customs of a society she doesn't understand, she finds herself without hope that she should ever deserve the attention of the man she loves. I think this sounds like it's going to be a real good one um, and it's her first uh, novel so I'm going to start here because I also picked up Cecilia by the same author um, which is set in 1782 and is a bit of a hunker so I shall be reading this one after I've read Evelina when I've decided um, is the writing for me and can I commit to such a big book but it sounds really good and I wanted to have it. Both of them sound really different and yet um, both centre on these sort of women and their lives and I'm really looking forward to seeing what I think of them. The next book I've seen on a few channels and people saying how it's a book that you really really need to read and so I felt like I really really needed to read it and it's The Flat Share by Beth O'Leary. This just sounds like a really interesting idea. It's about two people who share a bed not just a flat, they're not just flatmates, they're bedmates. Uh, one of them works in the day and one of them works during the night on a night shift and so they manage to share this apartment, they share the same bed um, and they only sort of communicate with each other through post-it notes and little notes and I think this is going to be really interesting to see um, you know these two people that have never met but are yet sharing a space which is quite intimate and a place that's quite intimate and what happens whether they sort of end up meeting, whether there's going to be some sort of romance in there, I just think it sounds like a really interesting interesting concept and not one I've ever heard of before. In the final four books I was very kindly sent uh, by the publisher. The first is called The Kingdom by Jess Roth uh, Rothenberg and this just sounds right up my street. In the blurb it says, Welcome to the Kingdom, a dazzling fantasy theme park where happily ever after is not just a promise but a rule. The Kingdom is a place where technology helps dreams come to life. Formerly extinct species roam the park and 12 beautiful fanaticists, half human, half android princesses, entertain visitors and make wishes come true. But this fairy tale ends in murder and now Anna, one of her 12 one of the 12 fantasists is in the dock after finding herself experiencing emotions and romantic feelings against all of her programming. Told through court testimony, interrogation records and fragmented, fragmented flashbacks, The Kingdom by Jess Rothenberg has the futuristic appeal of Westworld and the twists and turns of a true crime thriller. I just think that sounds really good. I like the idea that it's told through these sort of transcripts. I like the sort of fantasy element. I love the idea of this kingdom and these princesses I just yeah I just think this is going to be a really really good read so I can't wait for this one and if it interests you this one's being published uh, in early July being published in August is one called no big deal by Bethany Rutter I really like the front of this proof cover edition um, this just sounds really interesting it's a debut YA novel from Bethany Rutter who is an influencer editor and podcast uh, creator I haven't read any of her stuff myself or heard of her um, but I don't think that matters and um, it says it's for fans of Holly Bourne and Becky Albertalli which I really like. It, um, it is said to be a warm, funny, inspiring read about a fat girl finding her footing in life, female friendship, valuing yourself and not settling. Um, so what more could you ask for in a book really? So I'm really looking forward to seeing if it, um, if, you know, it gives me the warm fuzzies. The Girl Who Reads on the Metro by Christine Foray Fleuret, I believe, um, just sounds really um, sweet and beautiful. It's about a girl, she's travelling to work on the train, or a woman I should say, she's travelling to work on the train, she travels all the time, she hates the commute, she's going to a job she's not that bothered about, um, and she just reads to um, pass the time and to escape. One day she meets a man on the train and he owns this most amazing bookshop and it sort of sets in motion a complete change in her life I think um, it's quite a small small short one um, but it just sounds it's got bookshops it's got a passion for reading it's set in France yes please tick 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 and this one comes out in October this final book I believe is already out and it's called A Thousand Ships by Natalie Haynes I've seen Jean from Jean's Bookish Thoughts talk about this and really enjoyed it I believe when she read it um, this is um, a uh, vo giving a voice to women from the Trojan War so I trust Jean when she reads books um, from set in this sort of time because you know that is her thing that's her PhD so I really trust her when she says she enjoys a book um, and uh, yeah, this one just sounds really good. It says, in the middle of the night, cru cru 
Creusa wakes to find her beloved Troy engulfed in flames. Ten seemingly endless years of brutal conflict between the Greeks and the Trojans are over and the Greeks are victorious. Over the next few years, the only life she has ever known will turn to ash. The devastating consequences of the fall of Troy stretch from Mount Olympus to Mount Ida, from the citadel of Troy to the distant Greek islands and across oceans and sky in between. These are the stories of the women embroiled in that legendary war and its terrible aftermath, as well as the feud and the fatal decisions that started it all. Powerfully told from an all-female perspective, A Thousand Ships gives voices to the women, children and goddesses who for so long have been silenced. Um, so I'm really looking forward to this. I'm still trying to find that sort of book that hits the mark as much as The Song of Achilles did. I quite enjoyed Circe by Madeline Miller, but The Song of Achilles really was, in my um, opinion, sort of over and above that. And um, yeah, I'm just, I'm desperate to get back into this sort of time period and this setting and hear from more people so I'm really looking forward to this one anyway that's all the books that I have picked up or been sent recently um have you read any of these which one of these pique your interest let me know in the comments down below as always and I look forward to sharing my thoughts on these as and when I get to them that's it for me and I look forward to speaking to you soon bye for now booktube